world is experiencing a recession that is way worse than the global financial crisis the International Monetary Fund's IMF said last week. She branded the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic a crisis like no other. The intervention comes amid increasing financial fears across the globe and a series of concerning economic indicators. Speaking at a press conference in Geneva, IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva said, This is a crisis like no other, never in the history of the IMF have we witnessed the world economy coming to a standstill. We are now in recession. It is way worse than the global financial crisis. As the crisis deepens, unearthed reports shed light on how Queen Elizabeth II reacted to the turmoil on the international markets 12 years ago. According to a 2008 report by The Telegraph, during a briefing by academics at the London School of Economics LSE, Her Majesty asked, why did nobody notice it? Professor Luis Garacano, director of research at the LSE's management department, had explained the origins and effects of the credit crisis when she opened the £71 million new academic building. The Queen then described the turbulence on the markets as awful. Professor Garacano said, she was asking me if these things were so large how come everyone missed it. He told the Queen, at every stage, someone was relying on somebody else and everyone thought they were doing the right thing. Majesty's private wealth was estimated to be £320 million by Forbes magazine, which included a personal investment portfolio valued at £100 million. But because of the financial crisis, London's stock market lost almost 25% in value. The Queen's investments, largely in British blue-chip companies, broadly tracked the market, resulting in a 25% fall in her portfolio's value. Philip Beresford, compiler of The Rich List, told the publication, I would think she will have taken an enormous hit. Though maybe not as much as people who did racy investments in shares. The Daily Telegraph had previously disclosed that the Queen had been feeling the effects of the economic squeeze and had sought additional money from the government to pay for long overdue repairs to the roofs of Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle. Trending. It was her first visit to LSE and the first by a British head of state since her grandfather George V laid the foundation stoning in 1920. The eight-story building houses a climate change institute where experts study how society should tackle environmental issues. The Queen, accompanied by Prince Philip, toured the building and dropped in on a debate about Africa and climate change. She was introduced to EasyJet founder Sir Stelios Haji Ioannou, who helped fund the project, who studied economics at the school.